Look, the atom. Atoms are the smallest particles that are indivisible, okay? By normal means. I'm gonna skip some of this chap, some of this section. The atom is an element, it retains its characteristic. In the other class I taught, this is one good example of an element that you've all seen. Who's ever seen aluminum foil? Who grew up in North Carolina? What do you call this? Tin. It's tin for it. But there is no tin in it. Why do we call it that? I Look, I went to college and I went to the chemistry stock room and I asked the man for some tin for it. He looked at me like I was from Mars. I said, dude, I need, you know, silver, shiny, flat. He goes, you want some aluminum for it? I said, tin for it, man. He goes, no, I don't need tin for it. He didn't have any tin for it. He had aluminum for it. He was being a, yeah. This is aluminum for it, right? It's pure aluminum, really. That's what aluminum is. And every atom in here is a certain type. It's made up of a certain type of atom. Every one of them. So, I'll hear about Dalton. We are going to talk about what atoms are made of. They're made of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Okay? Protons are positively charged. They have mass. Electrons, negatively charged, have very little mass. Neutrons are neutral. They don't have any charge. The way all of chemistry works and the entire world works is positive and negatives are do what each other? They attract. If you're two positive people, you repel. If you're two negative people, you repel. Meaning you don't want to be... You ever seen two negative people get together? Good Lord, that's ugly, right? All they do is fight. So what do you want to do with that negative person? You'll put them with a positive person so they can try to work it out, right? They're attracted to each other. Or you could think of it as chemistry's not very PC. Not very politically correct, right? Can't have that. Can't have pairs with boys and pairs of girls. We gotta have boy girl, boy girl. Opposites attract. Okay? Sorry. That's not the way the modern world is, but the way chemistry works, this is what we have. Okay? Positives and negatives always attract each other. This is what holds an atom together. I'll hear about Thompson's experiment. Put it. I do care about this right here. There is a small dense region in an atom that contains positive charge. It also, the positive charge comes from protons. It also contains neutrons. It contains all the mass. It's called the nucleus. Outside the nucleus, there's negative charge. Those are the electrons. Okay? Let's see if I can do this without crashing this. Who's seen the WKRP video? Cincinnati. Yeah. About the. Have you seen it? I think so, but I'm not for sure. a sitcom from the 70s. Uh -huh. <laughs> so when I was little, it's still on in the 80s. Venus I watched it. This guy by the name of Venus Flypad, who's one of the DJs on the radio station, right? So this is a TV show. He's going to explain to you how an atom works. I can give you the basic of the atom in two minutes. You'll understand it perfectly and remember it for months. Two minutes? You're crazy, you know that? If I can teach you about the atom in two minutes, will you go back to school and finish out the year? How about it, huh? Come on, you're a betting man. How about it, Arnold? Yeah. Yeah, okay, sure. You got it. I got your word? Yeah, you got my word. And two minutes. We got a deal. Yeah, we got a deal. All right, so that's... Okay. 
There are three gangs on the street, right? Yeah, yeah, three gangs. And this, this right here is the territory. Now, here is a neighborhood. Got that? Yeah. And right in the middle of this neighborhood is a gang called the New Boy. Yeah, the New Boy. Good name. Okay. Out here on the outside of the neighborhood, on the edge of the neighborhood, is another gang. You know, these are real negative dudes, really negative, right? Right. And they call themselves the elected ones. All right, the elected ones. You got that really negative. They don't like nothing. Right. And they all the time out here circling around the neighborhood, just circling, you know? Checking out the new boy. Now, the new boys see this. And they get, you know, they figure there's something wrong here. So they make a deal with another, another gang. A gang of very happy-go-lucky guys. They call themselves the pros. <laughs> the pros. Now, the pros are very positive cats. You see, they got all the good-looking women, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> see, now, the pros and the, and the elected ones, the interesting thing, they hate each other. So much so, they keep the same number of members in the gang, just in case you did. Right. So if I got ten elected ones, how many pros do I have? Ten. All right. Now, how many gangs do I have? Three. Name. The new boys, the elected ones, and the pro. All right. Who's here? The elected ones. All right. Now, what are they, negative? Yeah, negative. All right. Now, who's positive? The pros. And you're running out of time. All right. Now, you see right here, the pros and, and the new boys, they call their hangout the new now, see, that's a real tough word. It's Latin. I kind of think it's Swahili, and it means center. Yeah? What is it? It's nucleus. Say it. Nucleus. Is that really African? Say it. Nucleus. You got it? Yeah. All right. Give me another Swahili word. It's, uh, it's a tron. It means do. Yeah. Tron. Do. All these gangs like the name so well that they all decide to use it. For instance, the, uh, the pros right here in the middle start calling themselves proton. And the new boys, well, they start calling themselves Neutrons. And out here on the edge here, the elected ones, they start calling themselves the elect... The Electrons, the Protons, and the Neutrons. Yeah. And all this right here, this is the neighborhood. This is block after block of nothing. You understand block after block of nothing, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I know all about that. And your time is up, Professor DJ. Good. I was finished anyway. Now you're going back to school. Back to school? Man, all I know about is a bunch of damn gangs that live in a round neighborhood. <laughs> Arnold, that's the atom. That's it, man. That's it. What's this right here? Huh? Uh, protons and neutrons. All right, and they call this the what? Nucleus. All right, what are these guys up here? Electrons. Are they negative or positive? Negative. And how do they move? Round and round. And if I got two of them, how many protons do I have? Two. Now, are protons negative or positive? Positive. All right, and what's all this right here? Oh, that's the neighborhood. Which is? Nothing. You got it, man. <laughs> <laughs>
the number of protons equals the number of electrons. And protons are positive and electrons are negative. Okay? And you have an equal number for now until we start talking about ions. Fair enough? Protons equals electrons. Now, one new term. The mass number. The mass number is protons plus neutrons. It is not found on the periodic table. Okay? It is not found on the periodic table. Let's put three atoms of carbon up here. How many protons does every one of these atoms have? Six. We already said that, right? These are three ice Ooh. isotopes of carbon. Isotopes are atoms of an element that have different mass numbers. Here I have three atoms of carbon. They all have six protons. What's different here? Here I have a 12, a 13, and a 14. They have different numbers of neutrons. How many neutrons does this carbon atom have? Can anyone guess? It has six, doesn't it? How do you get six? Mass minus atomic no, not atomic mass. I mean, the mass number. This number up here is the mass no. number. No, no, no. Listen to me. Stop looking at the book and listen. Every one of these carbon atoms has six protons, right? Why does it have six protons? Because that's the atomic number, isn't it? That's what defines it as being carbon. It can't have any other number. This number that I put at the top is the mass number. What is the mass number? Protons, Protons plus, plus neutrons. So, this guy has how many neutrons? Six, because 12 minus 6 is 6. This one has seven because 13 minus six is seven neutrons. <coughs> and this guy over here eight. has eight neutrons. What did you say the bottom number is? The bottom number is just the atomic number. That tells you which element you have. This number is kind of redundant. Because if it's C, that number has to be six, doesn't it? Okay? It's just to help you see it. Okay? So where do we get? The mass number it has to be given. Okay, given. Has to be given. So let's do one quick example. So if I said you had iron 59, how many protons do we have? How many? Who said 26? Why 26? Because when you look on the periodic table, iron is element number 26. 26. So there's 26 protons. How many electrons do I have? 26. Okay. How many neutrons do I have now? 30. Who says 33? 33, right? 59 minus 26 equals 33 neutrons. This mass number would have to be given in order to, for you to figure that out. Or, alternatively, I could say, here I have some iron. The protons and the electrons are always, always with the same number. Yep. What is the mass number if... What's the mass number if there's 31 neutrons? 
57. How'd you get 57? Gonna add them together now, right? 26 protons. It's still iron. It still has 26 protons. Plus 31. So this would be iron 57. Everybody see that? Yes? So when it's presented to you, it would always have the mass number up at the top corner? If it was given. Or you might see it written as iron 59, like that. Like you may, you've probably heard of carbon 14 dating. That means it's mass number 14. Carbon has eight neutrons. That's different than carbon. It has six neutrons. Only carbon 14 is radioactive. Most carbon is not radioactive, right? Only carbon-14. Okay. So, questions about how to get the number of electrons, protons, or neutrons? We haven't talked about all the numbers on the periodic table yet. So on Wednesday, we'll cover that. Make sure you're working on the homework. Well, you should be finished the homework. You worked on the follow-up or you be taking the quiz from the last chapter because I'm probably going to put homework up for this chapter in the next day or two. Okay? Questions? Y'all later. Good. Sure.